right? The ad has been <laughs> completed. Perfect timing, just as soon as I sat down. I also forgot, as soon as I sat down to pee, I was like, wait, I need to... <coughs> I want to teach Dragon Breath to Dratini. To <coughs> because Twister is so weak. And Dragon Rage is a set damage. So I'd like to have an actual viable dragon type move on my dragon Pokemon. So we'll replace Twister. There we go. Alright, and now let's see what this trainer has. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? I don't know, I'm okay, but we've lost nine Pokemon. Ooh, a Sand Slash. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna throw in Water Boy. Because Sand Slash does no rock moves, I don't wanna throw in Big, uh, Big Snake and have it use fucking Rock Tomb or something. I don't like Sand Attack. It is four times weak to ice, though. If we can just get one ice punch to land. Stop. This isn't funny. There we go. Bye-bye, Sand Slash. <clears throat> okay, that's some good experience distribution, I guess. It's not horrible. so many trainers. Alright, let's see what you got. A Psychic! Ooh! Starmie! I doubt this Starmie knows Ice Beam! But Starmie's also no Electric-type moves! Starmies are so strong. Let's just see. Okay, it just tackled. It just tackled. And that didn't do much. What can it do? What can a level star me do to Water Boy, right? Perfect, it just tackled again. And now we will bite it. <clears throat> and that will take care of Starmie. Uh, Dratini is so weak, but we need to keep it alive to make it. Once it becomes a Dragonite, a Dragonite and a Water Boy can finish this run on their own. Execute. We'll use Ice Punch. Oh, wait! I have a Pona now! I should have switched to a Pona! I forgot! I have a Fire type now! Giraffering. Psychic. Dark or just straight psychic? We'll use bite and see. Just psychic. <laughs> At least we got a big beefy water boy. <laughs> Literally here to save every single member on my team. Alright, another trainer. <clears throat> you shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm happy for the one I got. Alright, 
she is a cool trainer. Another Starmie. Let's switch out for Water Boy. Another Starmie? You know what? Let's trust that it doesn't know a, like, Thunderbolt. <laughs> and we'll, we'll send in Big Snake and pray this thing doesn't know a Thunderbolt. I think that's really just like Misty's Starmie, you know? Or maybe it just knows Thunder. Maybe that's what it is. It doesn't know Thunderbolt, but it knows Thunder. That's fine. The experience is good. <coughs> You're taking this thing on by yourself. I hope you can take it on by yourself. That crit will help you take it on by yourself. There we go. There we go. Neato Queen. It might know a rock type move. Let's see what Surf and Turf can do against a Nido Queen. We might lose Surf and Turf right here, guys. We'll see. I hope not. Uh, I don't have any water type moves. Eh. Let's just throw in Water Boy, guys. <laughs> We got paralyzed. Honestly, I know that Surf has Stab, but I do think Ice Punch probably does more damage with it being a physical type move and with having Never Melt Ice. I'm not positive though. I'd have to like, you know, I'm not a scientist. Can you just attack, please? Water Boy. Water Boy. There we go. What was that? How many turns in a row did we just not be able to attack? Were we not able to attack? All right. Do we have a paralyzed healer or anything on us? What's up ahead? I don't want to get stuck in a trainer battle when Waterboy's paralyzed. Uh, we're gonna have to go back to Professor Element Heal. I just, you know, it's a Nuzlocke. We gotta play safe, guys. And I don't have fly, <laughs> so we can't fly. Well, I have fly. We just don't have any Pokemon that can use it until Dragon Ball can become a Dragonite. <clears throat> I 
Man, you can't get level 32 if you kill this thing. Kill it! There we go. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, now you can level up if you kill it. Zubats of the sea, guys. That's all these things are. Now we're at level 32. Those stats are really bad, though. Perfect timing! The stats are gonna get a little better. <laughs> Not amazing, but a little better. There we go. There we go. Your Dragon Ball evolved into Dragonair. <clears throat> um, I didn't have the sprite ready. Hold on. I didn't think it was gonna happen that quickly. Okay, there we go. There we go. So what are its stats now? I don't remember exactly what the stats were, but I remember like roughly, so let's like just compare. Okay, all of its stats went up about 20. 15 to 20 each. So it's a little better. It's a little stronger. And it's just one step closer to becoming a Dragonite. Oh yeah. He doesn't heal my Pokemon. This machine does. Heals all five of my Pokemon. Soothing water music. I also feel like I should have more items than I'm going into Victory Road with. Like, I feel like I'm very understocked in potions and status healing things. I'm actually a little concerned. But... We'll... <clears throat> whatever. We'll continue. Let's just hope it doesn't bite us in the ass. There we go, that's a little stronger, and there we go. Please don't attack, please be paralyzed. Yes, there we go, no damage. There we go, Dragon Ball! <coughs> oh, come on. Just let me use Waterfall. I know I have it. You know I have it. Chicken Nuggies Enthusiast. <laughs> we know you have it. I'm glad. I'm glad that everyone is aware that I have it. Oh, sick. It's a one-hit KO. one of you. You died. How did you die? You got crit by something. 
See, I was never really fully attached to Fast Poke, honestly, like I was to some of the other Pokemon we have lost. I updated my Twitch pick too, not a chicken nuggy. Hold on. Okay, yeah. It's not a chicken nuggy. I just had to make sure. And yeah, you are correct, it is not. Route 26, okay, this is a new route. Because we were just at Route 27, so I just read the map the wrong way. So if there's grass here, we can catch a new Pokemon. And if we can catch a new Pokemon, I will be happy. I mean, we can catch a Pokemon in the water, too. But... Do we really need another water type on the team? I know Dragonair's not a water type, but it very much gives off a water type vibe. I do miss having fast poke for confusion. That type advantage was very nice for poison. Alright. As long as this hits. As long as this hits. It does. That is the one thing, I don't have a lot of attack, you know, I don't have a lot of power points. Dragon Ball doesn't have a whole lot of PP to work with. Stop minimizing. Why would a quillfish change its size like that? There we go. There we go. Dragon Ball don't care. Dragon Ball hit everything. And then a Sea King? Let's just keep going. What are the chances that we can have this thing a full-fledged Dragonite by the time we reach the champ? I don't know if we can do it, but that would be awesome. We could always grind. Okay, that did a little more damage than I would have liked. What does Slam do? Fucking misses? Try again. Okay, that was kind of powerful. Flail? Okay, that didn't do much, but I'm afraid of a crit. I don't want to make unnecessary losses, so let's just throw in Water Boy to clean up the scraps. Wait, the mod view no longer recognizes you as mod? Wait, really? Hold on. You are a mod! It says you're a mod. You have the mod badge. You do mod things, but shows you under mod. That's weird. I'll, uh, I guess I'll look into that. <clears throat> All right, there we go. All right, we can't lead anymore with Dragon Ball because it's a little weak. Surf and Turf starting to really fall behind in the levels. It might update if you come back on. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay, this is grass. This is grass. This is a new area. New opportunities. A new Pokemon. Let's see. Come on, come on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it always eradicate? Why? I 
I hate this. I hate this so much. Kill it. Just kill it already. Get it out of my face. This sucks. I hate this. Every time. We think we can continue on and get a new teammate. It's a goddamn radicate. It's like the fifth time. Um, let's just lead with Waterboy. Nothing that they're gonna throw at us is gonna worry me. Hmm. Why couldn't it have been a good Pokemon? We could have used a sixth. A grass type, perhaps? You know, we're in the grass. That's where you think you'd find a grass type. But nope. Just a fucking rat. Alright, I'm glad that we started out with for alligator. We got some water boy bites. Doing massive damage. And flinching. A desperation quick attack does nothing. There we go. There we go. Psychic Richard was defeated. What's over here? What's over here? Ooh. What's over here? What? Just a way back? Interesting. I don't even want to encounter another Pokemon here because it's just going to make me mad whatever I see. Ooh, is this a safe haven where I can rest? Where I can lay my weary head? Thank you. Thank you, kind lady. <clears throat> really? I can buy followers and viewers? Do you really mean it? Uh, let's see. Maybe this berry actually will help. An ice berry. We're not getting frozen all that often. Um, actually, I forgot. I want to lead with Dragon Ball. We got a lot of level 32 Pokemon. But we need more. We need Epona, we need Surf and Turf, and we need Dragon Ball to all evolve and unlock their full potential. Preferably, you know, before they die, a Pikachu. Wait, Dragon Ball doesn't fear Pikachu. Epona doesn't fear Pikachu. Dragon Breath? That's fine, it's not an attacking move. It's just becoming evasive. Dragon Breath still hits. Thunder, although powerful. And a fucking crit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still is not a lot. Fucking paralyzed. Why did all that just happen? Okay, at least you got the kill. That was too much. That was just too much. I don't like that. But level 33. That I do like. <clears throat> All right, your attack's becoming good. A Blastoise? I see your... Should I? Let's do it. Let's give Big Snake the, the, the time to shine here. Same level, both 32. Your water type versus one of my multiple water types? How will it end? How will this battle go down? I will thrash about, and hopefully it will be enough to kill you before you can do anything to me. Oh, you're getting those big boy stats.
Okay, I'm a little worried. Its attack is about to be ridiculously high. <laughs> and this thrash might not kill it. Uh, please, just don't be strong. Wait, Surface Special! Yeah, that was a crit. I just can't have it hit itself in confusion. There we go, Big Snake! There we go, Big Snake! Yes! There we go! And now we can heal right here, right now. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay. I see you, trainer. I guess let's battle, huh? Let's see what you got. Oh, I miss Suck Plant. Okay, Apona, it's time for your debut. Come on out. Show us what you can do. Time to burn some weed? Hell yeah. Also, welcome back, Sophia. Okay. Ember's such a weak move. I wasn't expecting it to do a lot of damage. We need opponent to obviously get a stronger fire-type move, but we can't do that until we let it battle. So I do think we'll be able to take down this victory bell still, regardless. Acid won't do much. It's a weak attack. That did more than I would like. Uh. Okay. Ember has to hit. Okay, and it did. If Ember missed, there was a chance we lost Epona there. But we're good. A Kingler. I see your attacking water Pokemon, and I will send out my other attacking walking walking Pokemon. Gyarados can't walk. Alright, let's just thrash. Kingler chooses to stomp. And I continue to thrash. And Kingler continues to stomp. And I kill him with a thrash. It's the guy from The Little Mermaid, but gym style? It is. Kingler's just swole Sebastian. Flareon? All right. Big Snake's about to be confused. Surf and Turf, let's go! Wait, you don't have any water moves. Surf and Turf doesn't know any water moves. Shit. Okay. Guys, Surf and Turf's gone. <laughs> it couldn't survive a bite from a Flareon. That's bad. That's weak, guys. Oh, that's so weak. I was never I was never attached to Surf and Turf anyways. I was never going to put the effort to level it up. It would have been nice death fodder. I guess I killed it ignorantly. 
But I really thought it could survive one hit from a Flareon. I really did. Screech at level 47? That's horrible. That's disgusting. Alright, well, I'm not going to go all the way back to the Poke Center, but I will... Oh, is it up here? Where are you at? Oh my god, I have so many things. Oh, you're number four. We will throw Surf and Turf in the graveyard. Because we have lost Surf and Turf, guys. And I don't want to go all the way back to the Poke Center just to drop it off. I'll do that later. I am healing it. Obviously, we can't use it. It's not a part of my team anymore. Can you release a Pokemon from your party? of the party to indicate that it is dead and invalid and we will throw it in the actual it's already in the graveyard on the overlay so we're good <clears throat> everyone knows we can't use it I'm, like i said i'm honestly not really mad i just realized that i just we're good <laughs> almost scratched my eyeball It's not bad to fight and get some experience when we're so close to somewhere that we can heal if we need it. And we don't! A one-hit KO! <clears throat> there we go, Dragon Ball! It's just more Sizu bats. damage please hit it please just hit okay oh my god once I saw swords dance I got a little worried <laughs> hell yeah good luck I might not be able to stay long but I wish you luck I don't know if we'll actually do the elite four today we are at six and a half hours almost oh shit I didn't see where they're changing I didn't see who's coming in let's just assume that water boy can take it 
Okay, it was a gold duck. I was right. Water boy can handle a gold duck. <clears throat> It'd be nice if you could learn crunch. So that, you know, you can be a little stronger with your attacks. Because you're strong, you just have weak moves. Here we go. Let's go back and heal. to a trainer named Douche. He was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. See, I think there is. I think there is a victory road, and I think at the end of it I have to face Douche, if I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, a Rapidash. A beautiful Rapidash. I hope to have one of those. I hope we can have one soon. I just realized, Dragonair can learn Surf. That wouldn't be a bad move to have on it. Big Snake? Wanna handle this? Pours Water Bucket over Fire Pokemon, instant win. That's what we're gonna do. We are literally gonna hit this thing with a fucking waterfall of water. As long as Fury Attack doesn't one-hit KO. Alright, only hit three times. Only did 18 damage. And that's gonna kill it. What? How? How? Come on. Now you're gonna kill it? There we go. There we go. Pokemon aren't tools of war. You're not wrong. Pokemon leave reception gate. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Chowto. Please go right through. Well, hold on. Because <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's on the other side. I know we didn't take much of a hit, but I need to just make sure... I am fully healed and fully prepared for whatever bullshit gets thrown my way. We're also going to teach Dragon Ball Surf. Because even though we have a lot of water coverage, it's just a good move for it to have. Dragon Ball's trying to learn Surf, but Dragon Ball can't learn more than four moves. To lead an older move to make room for Surf. We'll get rid of Dragon Rage, because that 40 fixed damage just really isn't going to do anything anymore. That's not going to cut it. And there we go. Now we'll go through that reception gate. Hopefully ready to take on the world. I don't like 
like this. I'm sure they're... I don't know, are they battles? Are they battles? Oh, okay. Oh, they're just swole dudes blocking off the paths. I remember. Because that's Mount Silver. I remember now. This leads to Kanto. Okay, there is a victory road. So this is a new area, actually. Guys, we can catch a Pokemon here. We can catch something. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so scared being in here right now. Like, I actually feel physically ill at the moment. <laughs> what if it's another Raticate? Getting my bearings down. Please, please, don't be eradicated. Don't be a Zubat. Don't be eradicated or a Zubat. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know you're saying, oh, phew. Like, this is good news. Oh, it's level 40! Oh, no. I'm so scared to fight this thing. I'm so scared. What if it uses self-destruct again? That's how we lost Snorble. Oh, I'm scared. But this is our only chance to get a, a strong Pokemon. Like, it's level 40. That's not bad. The type coverage is perfect. It can learn strength. I'm gonna throw one Ice Punch. Do I just use my Master Ball? <laughs> Do I just use my Master Ball? <laughs> I'm gonna throw one Ice Punch. Please, please no crit self-destruct bullshit. Oh, we killed it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We get no victory road Pokemon. Damn it. Damn it. I just... Gravelers... This is too risky. I can't send in any of my other Pokemon to take us self-destruct. I could not take that risk. Oh, what am I doing? I should be leading with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball no Surf now. Yeah, no, this is a good spot for my other Pokemon to at least train. Because they can at least one-hit KO Gravelers with their water moves. I just could not risk trying to catch that thing and having a repeat of what happened to Snorble. Because that was horrifying. And I still haven't gotten over that. So what I do think I remember is that Douche is going to fight me when I make it to the very, very end of the cave. So I got to keep that in mind. I hope Surf one hit KOs? It was a crit. I don't know if it's going to do that every time. But at least it did that time. Oh, I thought we could get to level 34. It's fine, we can't use revives anyways. God, I'm so scared being in like a minefield of Gravelers right now. We have lost more Pokemon to self-destruct than we have to anything else in this run. Well, I guess crits. Crits and self-destructs. But those are just the biggest threats to us at every given moment. Okay, even without crits, it's still one-hit KOs. Good. Good, this is gonna help Dragon Ball a lot. Because, like, its defense is still not good. 
Its stats aren't that good until it becomes a Dragonite. So we have to be very careful with it. <clears throat> I should have just used a Repel until I got to the next area. Onyx because I wouldn't have worried about it killing me. And an Onyx could have been nice just to throw HMs on it to get through Victory Road. And be death fodder, because come on, it's not like Onyxes can fucking take a hit. That's just back to the entrance. This is to the next floor. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am just so nervous about every single aspect of this run. I, I can't believe we've made it this far. I don't know how much farther we're gonna make it, but I'm hoping we can somehow find a way to beat this thing. There we go. deal with it. The one thing that does suck about this cave is we're not leveling up Epona at all. And I would like to level up Epona. <laughs> Once again, having a fire type will help a lot. I do have two rare candies, so we will be able to level up Dragon Ball two levels without having to grind. Because fucking getting to level 55 is going to take a while. surfing. He looks like a spoiled meatball. Yeah, kinda. I don't think you're wrong to say that. And I don't think you can really hurt a Graveler's feelings, so... <clears throat> These self-destructing assholes. Explore. 
Mostly I just want to find some useful TMs. There we go, level 35. Stats are starting to get okay-ish, but still not good. I don't like the looks of that one bit. Just because we don't have a whole lot of surfs left, and there's gonna be trainers at some point. Let's throw in Big Snake. We'll have Big Snake use waterfalls. As we encounter rock Pokemon every two fucking steps. We're still getting the one-hit KOs. Big Snake, almost level 34. Almost. <clears throat> I don't feel like dealing with it. So let's just get away from it. right here. Okay, actually, I think that's fine because I think my Pokemon are fully healed at the moment. I just can't spam Surf with, with Dragon Ball. That's it. I think that's really the only thing that's... Oh, he's got a full team, though. I'm so scared. Thanks for being a first time chatter. Thanks for stopping on by. How you doing? Okay, that's actually not bad. Sneasel is weak. Dark Ice. Ice is neutral to Gyarados. Very good in you. I'm doing great. I am at Victory Road in a Nuzlocke run. I am terrified every single time I get into a battle. And I'm facing my rival for what I think is the last time. Do I keep in Sneasel? Or do I keep in Big Snake? I'm gonna thrash. I'm gonna thrash. I'm just gonna thrash about. Fury Cutter shouldn't do anything. Literally nothing. Okay. We're good. If you don't know the rules, if a Pokemon faints... Thank you so much for the bits. A crit. If you don't know the rules, if a Pokemon faints, it dies and we lose it forever. So if you see those Pokemon that are in the graveyard in that lower area... Those are the Pokemon that we have lost forever, and we can never use again. There we go, level 34. As you can see, my team is a little... My roster's a little lacking at the moment. But I've got a good group going. Until I see Magneton. Wait! Epona! Shout out Suckplant Rip. I know I miss Suckplant. I miss Snorble the most. Snorble was the best part of our team, and losing Snorble has been very horrendous. Nuzlocks are intense. Yeah, I just, I'm so on edge all the time. But at least we finally have a counter to Magneton. Should I just go straight up Ember or Fire Spin? Fire Spin might do more over time because Ember's so weak. Is this randomized? No, it's not randomized. It's a regular Crystal Nuzlocke. I haven't played Crystal since it originally came out on the Game Boy Advance. And I've just made some slightly more difficult rules in terms of how I can get Pokemon. Missed. It missed. It missed. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, Epona. Now get the burn or a crit or something. That's fine. 
Uh, I don't like that that hit. <clears throat> All right, come on, Epona. You can you can take a thunder shock. It's a thunder shock. You can't take another thunder. Yes, yes, Epona, you did it. Yes. What? Epona didn't do it. Oh no. How did Epona not do it? Um, yeah, you're not wrong. Healing is the right cho choice. Um, do I have a full restore? Do I have any full restores? I have one full restore. I'll just, I'll buy a fuck ton of full restores when I make it. It's more important to use it now. Oh my god. Why did that not kill? Why? That's not gonna... Okay. Just don't be a crit. Okay. This is fine. Because... We have Dragon Ball at full health. It can take a Thunder Shock. It can take what... It can take a Thunder Shock and it'll outspeed. Thunder Shock? No problem. As long as it's not a Perilous. No Paralyze. We're okay. We're still okay. We didn't lose a Pona, guys. I don't know how a Pona didn't finish that. Okay. We're good. Two down. Golbat? Golbats do not worry me at all. Because we have Waterboy and his fucking swole ice punches. One hit KO. Come on, just give me a one hit KO. There we go. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, three down, three to go. Meganium. Ah, opponent would be perfect if opponent had more health. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah, we might as well throw an opponent and see if it can heal, take a hit. I'll, I'll do fire spin this time. The accumulative damage might help if we get caught in a heal bind. So we'll heal right now. Opponent has been healed. Body slam, I don't like that. I don't like a body slam. Okay. That's not good. So I know what we're going to do, though. I know how we can do this. Because it's going to body slam again. Waterboy can take a body slam. It's not going to hurt it. It's going to outspeed. It's going to ice punch. It's going to do mad damage. No! Fuck! Um... Okay, I have to pray that it can not get killed right here. Razor Leaf's not a strong attack. It's not a strong attack. It did nothing! It did nothing! Let's go! Ice punch right in the dick. One hit KO. One hit KO. That's fine. It's not a one hit KO, but we can heal because Razor Leaf did nothing. I don't have any more full restorers. That sucks. So I'm still going to be paralyzed, but I'm going to be healed. I'm going to take a Razor Blade without an issue. Or, sorry, Razor Leaf. Right? Okay, so it does 41 damage. So even if it crits right here, we will survive. Even if it's a high roll crit, we will survive this. Let's go! Yes! Way to go, water boy! Yes! Oh my god. 
Okay. A haunter? That's fine. Because I've got Big Snake, who knows bite. And Haunter's physical defense is garbage. So one bite should KO it. Oh, it didn't one hit KO it. It just took itself out. There we go. There we go. Alright, what does he have left? What's his last Pokemon? Kadabra? I mean, the best thing is to keep Big Snake in because we just have to... I'm, I'm worried about the... Oh no, because the curse is lifted. Right? Now that Haunter's dead, there's no more curse. I keep forgetting that. Future Sight? We can kill this thing before Future Sight even attacks. Uh, probably not. Oh no, and the curse still happens. Oh, and that's bad. Oh, this is actually worrisome now. Um, okay, I can take one more hit. Plus one more curse. I don't know. I don't know how strong its attacks are. Well... I can, do, I can do another bite. It just future sighted again. Perfect. So I can take a bite. I'll take a curse. Okay, now I know that I'm going to get take that curse hit. And I'm going to get future sighted. And I don't know if Kadabra's going to attack. It's probably smartest to just heal. I might have to heal two turns in a row. Because I don't know the damage I'm going to take between this future sight and this curse. And whatever cadaver hits me with right here. Oh, it recovered! I'm such a stupid bitch! Oh, now Future Sight's gonna hit... Oh, how bad is it? How bad is it, Doc? It's nothing. Okay. Ah. I'm just gonna heal again. Wait, so it knows Recover? It knows Future Sight. It probably knows Confusion or something, or Psychic. It probably knows a Psychic-type attack other than Future Sight. Whatever, we're gonna heal one more time. I've got a lot of money, I can afford it. What does Future Sight do? It hits at the end of the next two turns. So in two turns, when the turn is over, it's going to attack whatever one of my Pokemon is in at that time. Okay, just don't recover again. No, because it's going to take both hits now. But, and if it recovers, I won't be able to kill it, and then the Curse and the Future Sight hit are going to kill it. I'm like trapped in this little vortex right now. Okay, I got an idea. We're just gonna heal Big Snake one more time so that we can heal Water Boy. And then we will put in Water Boy, and Water Boy's bite will get through whatever. Like, it'll be fine. It's this curse that's making things very difficult. Okay, disable. Okay, see, those were some big hits. But now we can start fresh. Wait, I didn't heal him. <laughs> Duh. Okay, it's probably gonna use Future Sight again. So we'll heal Water Boy. It recovered. Okay. That's fine. It's not good. But Big Snake is still alive, and we can switch out. We can put in Water Boy. And let's hope being paralyzed isn't gonna kick us in the ass.
Yeah, I know. You're gonna use Future Sight. You know what? Let's just, right now, let's make things simple. Let's use a full heal. Perfect. Now we will bite. And hope this worked. There we go. There we go. I probably overthought all of that, but it worked. We didn't lose any Pokemon. We beat Douche unscathed. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Okay. Yes, there we go. There we go. Overall, we didn't take too much damage. Yas Queen. Route 23. We've made it to the Elite Four, guys. I cannot believe that we have made it to the Elite Four. There has been so many times during this run that I thought it was over and that I thought we were done for. And we have made it to the fucking Elite Four. We have to do something real quick. Surf and turf, it was good to have you, buddy. See ya. We have four Pokemon heading into the Elite Four. That's disgusting. Welcome, oh, may I help you? Bye. We're gonna need a lot of your potions. Oh wait, let's see, full restores actually. That's what we want. How many full restores can I buy? Uh, full restores are so expensive. Okay, so we'll be smart about it. I'll buy 15 full restores. I'll buy... I mean, I can't spend money on revives, so it's not like I have to worry about money for revives. Surf and turf, I know. All right, so let's see. Can't use revive, so there's no point. So we can buy some more full restores. How many more? We can buy eight of them. Let's do it. All right, that's all my money. I'm poor. And then what? This is just the elite, of the elite four up ahead? If you need to train some more, my Abra can help you. It can teleport you home. Would you like to go home now? We're clearly not leveled enough for the Elite Four. This is obvious. We're not ready. We've made it, but if we go into the Elite Four with these four Pokemon, where they're at right now, they will all die. 
They will die horrible, egregious deaths that we don't want. So I'm gonna have to grind. As much as I hate that, as much as I was against that, I'm gonna have to grind. And I guess it would probably be ideal if I do that off camera. That's gonna be boring. It's gonna be a waste of everyone's time if you just sit here and watch me grind forever. We are at seven hours, guys. We are at the seven hour mark. The Elite Four is gonna take a long time. <laughs> and so is all the training and everything. So I do think I'm gonna train. I'm gonna grind off camera. And we will be back on Thursday, I believe, is what the schedule said. I might have to redo the schedule, though. So make sure to look at the schedule. Because the next Pokemon Crystal run, I want to take on the Elite Four. I want to beat all eight gyms in Kanto. And I want to defeat Red. I want the next stream to be where we finish this run. I feel like starting off with the Elite Four will be a very engaging way to start the stream. So that's what we're going to do, everybody. Seven hours. Decent, decent stream, guys. Everyone, thank you so much who came in. Thank you, everyone that's participated. Thank you for everyone that dropped by earlier. Thank you for the raid that happened earlier. Thank you for all the follows I got earlier. Thank you for the bits that you guys have given me. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for everything, guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are the best, and I cannot wait to be back tomorrow for some Rocket League. We will be back at noon. Oh, are you done? Yeah, I am done. We're, we're at the seven-hour mark. Um, and I, I, I think seven hours is a good stopping point. I need dinner. So it seems like a good thing to do. Um... Thank you for the follow. Um, if you follow me on any of my socials, make sure to check me out on Instagram. Check out my Discord, like everything. I have all my schedules available for you to see when I'm streaming next. I'm on every single day at noon. Monday to Friday, I'm here at noon. Most days, I am here again at 7. So just make sure to check all that stuff, guys. Make sure to stay up to date on everything. And I cannot wait to see you guys all uh, tomorrow for Rocket League.